So recently, Mid Journey version 5 was released and it's good. It's very good indeed, but it will only ever be as good as the prompt you feed it. So I decided to try and train ChatGPT, which we all know and love, and train it to create stunning prompts for me on any subject I want for insane results. This works on all versions of ChatGPT, but for best results, you will require a paid subscription as we need to access ChatGPT version 4. But I'm sure in the future, this may change when ChatGPT 4 becomes the standard. But for now, let's jump over to Midjourney and I'll show you the difference between standard prompts, one where we call Midjourney to use version 5, and one we will train ChatGPT 4 to create an amazing prompt for us. As you can see, I have created a prompt involving a badger stalking prey at night in a city environment. This prompt was a simple basic text prompt. The result itself was okay, but nothing special. Looks very artificially generated and nothing worth really showing off. But let's try adding V5 to the end to make sure Midjourney will use the latest version. To do this, you want to add two dashes and a V like this with a space before the number five. So already just adding V5 at the end has changed the results to something pretty cool. But we can do even more if we train ChatGPT4 to become our prompt beast. So let's head over there now and I'll show you how to do it. So ChatGPT4 is unlike any other version. This uses natural language programming to be as close to a real human as possible, which means that the prompts it can produce are far more natural and artistic because it tries to add human-like elements to its results. This can still be done on previous versions, but the results may not be as good or as consistent as version 4. Let's give it a try. The first thing we need to do is tell ChatGPT what a mid-journey prompt is. So we'll say, here is a mid-journey prompt formula, a very detailed image of subject, doing something interesting during time of day, taken with a type of camera, using type of lens with type of lighting, and to use V5 and an aspect ratio of 16.9. And then we will follow that up by adding, do you understand the formula? So ChatGPT will let us know if it had any issues understanding any of what we asked. So now we will hit enter and see what ChatGPT tells us. It has reported back to us that it definitely understands the formula. So let's now produce a prompt and see if it did indeed understand the formula how we wanted it to. To do that, we're going to ask it to write a mid-journey prompt following the above formula with the subject being a badger we can see that it will now start to produce a high quality prompt involving my subject of a badger. It's added details like golden hour being the time of day, taken with a DSLR camera with a telephoto lens and what type of lighting to use. All things that if I was to make it myself, I would most likely forget to add. So now we just need to copy and paste the text over to mid journey and into the imagine command and see what it will create for us. Wow. The quality and feel of these images are amazing compared to the originals that we produced. The lighting really makes them pop and it's really captured more of the feel I wanted when I started my original prompt. But if you remember, my original prompt wasn't a badger digging a hole, it was a badger in a city. So let's copy and paste the same prompt but change these details. Every time I do this, I'm always stunned by the results more and more. Look at how these compare to the original prompt. They are a million miles apart from the original and show just how powerful training ChatGPT is to understanding mid-journey prompts. Let's try something different. I'm going to copy and paste my original request and change Badger to an evil Furby. This should be funny or interesting, or maybe both. Okay, so these came out way creepier than I expected and will probably give me nightmares. But hey, it's all for the good of my subscribers so I really hope you have found this video interesting or informative. Give it a go yourself and see what can be created. Thank you all for watching and until the next time, all the best and I'll see you in another video soon.